Hi guys, it's Vera Bradley Crazy back with another video. Today I'm actually using my throw as like a little softener so my uh, stuff doesn't get too beat up. Hopefully it stays in place. Um, today I'm doing a video on what I would bring to school and like what's in my bag um, for back to school season. Hope I don't have anything on my face. Um, so first I will do my purse, then I will do my lunch bag, and then I will do my backpack. So smallest to largest. Um, I have them right here, right next to me. So I have the, um, I think it's all in one crossbody and wristlet in Penelope's Garden. Or RFID crossbody wristlet or all in one crossbody wristlet, something like that. I don't remember the exact name. But this purse is a crossbody or it can be a wristlet. So the wristlet just kind of hides in there. So if you don't want to use it, you don't it's not like detachable. It just hides there. So so you don't lose it. And then the crossbody. I have it at its longest to fit me because I am pretty tall. Might actually shorten it a little bit for a sec in a second. There we go. Um, this is in the pattern Penelope's Garden. So as you most likely know, it has the little hedgehog. It is a trifold. I'm going to cover my ID. It has one, two, wait. One, two... Three, four, four card slots here and a ID window here. Usually I think on the um the trifold wallet it the crossbody or the uh ID slot is there. Um we have a bill holder and then another bill holder. I guess you could use one as receipt for receipts, but I'm actually using it for my lucky two dollar bill. Um, I will never get, give this thing up because my little cousin gave it to me for my birthday. So I just thought that was really cute. And then I usually have all, the rest of my bills in there. Um, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine card slots here, which are all RFID protected. If you could see that here. Sorry, trying to see the camera. Right there. Kind of blends in, which I like. So if, like, my wallet got stolen or something, they wouldn't really see it at first. They would have to kind of search for it. Um, then it is magnetized. So I really like that. So it just doesn't fly open. Um, then we have the back zippered pocket, which it zips around about quarter of the way down on both sides and the whole top. Um, I'm just keeping my change in there right now. Um, so, didn't I just drop one on here? Maybe I didn't. Um, I usually put my phone in here, maybe a mask. The heck was that? That was the uh, thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, um, I, I guess our fax machine is uh, getting a call right now because it is our home phone line. Um, and then, like I said, it's just zippered. Got the ribbon zipper pull that says Vera Bradley. Um, so that is it for the crossbody wallet wristlet thing. Next is the lunch bag. I believe this is the crossbody stand-up cooler. Or deluxe lunch bunch bag. Or It's one of those two. So in the... Let, I guess let's just get started. Um, oh, it does have a crossbody. I do not have it expanded right now for um, storage. Um, so first, it has a mesh pocket, which I love drinking Arizona iced tea. So I get the 12-pack. Then I, just, I would just put it in here. Or if I had a taller Arizona, it would just stick, still go in there. Still the fax machine, I guess. Um, guess somebody's trying to fax something to us. Sorry, gonna stand that up. So that fits nicely in there. And then it's elasticized, so it just goes back. And then we have a zip around opening. So it kind of goes down onto the front and then back up. 
which I like because it's you can see everything better. Um, I barely have any food in here right now, but um, I will. Sh I have stuff in here to sh show like what I would have because I have like a sandwich box in here, but I wasn't gonna make a sandwich for this for just for this video because then I would have to eat it. So I'm gonna put that there, and then so we have a sandwich box, which this is a pretty big sandwich box. Like here's my hand compared to it. My hands are pretty big. Um, here. So this is a, like the size of a Coke can next to it. About half the width, or half, half the depth, I guess. Um, same width, like, or height, I mean, and then just a little bit shorter. I'd say two-thirds of the length. Hope I gave those dimensions right. Um, there is also a mesh, I guess, privacy pocket back here. I have my banana here so it doesn't get all bruised up. Um, I have an apple and I have a smaller container which I put my veggies in usually. I have cherry tomatoes and a couple little sweet peppers. So, some cherry tomatoes. And uh, little sweet peppers. So I'll show you how I put this back all in here. I put the banana in first. And then I take the Arizona. Put I would put that back in there. The sandwich box. Put that in the back with the flat side down or actually that in the front with the flat side down like that and then separating the banana in the sandwich box I would put my cherry tomatoes stand them up on I guess I could put the banana in last and then of course I wouldn't have the apple if I was done with lunch and then the banana ones again or if I wanted to, I could put like a cereal bar in here or something. Um, banana's not fitting for some reason right now. I don't know how it fit before and it's not fitting now. We'll just leave the banana out. But that's what it would look like. Or you could switch. Here, here's a good view. Or you could put this on its side like this and then... I could fit the banana in like that. So the banana and then the sandwich box, snatch, snack box, and the apple. Um, so I think that's pretty nice how that all fits in there. And then of course we got the zip around, which is kind of a tough zipper. Not very smooth running because of the piping on the, in on the inside or the stitch work. But also, this is factory, so you don't get the best quality, I guess. So that is all good. I'm actually going to crack open this Arizona and drink it while I do the video because I'm quite parched. Always tap on any drink you get in, the, get in the can so it doesn't fizz out. I don't even care if it's iced tea, lemonade. Oh, that's good. All right, now for the big kahuna. I'm actually going to keep this on my lap and not put it on the table because then you can't see it all the way. So this is the, I believe it's extra large backpack in um, Penelope's garden. Ow, I just kicked something under the desk. Um, yes, I am sitting at a desk. I'm sitting in my office. Um, I couldn't find the campus backpack when we went. This was on sale. It was the 60-30 sale. No. 50-30 sale. 50% off plus an extra 30 or 60-20 or however you want to say it. Um, first I have my hydro flask. I'm not going to purchase a Vera Bradley water bottle because I have too many water bottles. I have that. Um, a Yeti for coffee. An RFID for coffee. And an infuser bottle. So this, the infuser bottle is a little bit taller than the hydro flask, but it will fit in here perfectly. On the other side, 
I have snacks. Um, so I just have a couple cereal bars in here just for show right now. This is a reusable dishwasher safe zip ziplock bag. We will be returning these even though we got them because one already broke. The seal broke, so I'm just going to put that over there so it doesn't break. But I got Lucky Charms, Reese's Puffs, and Cinnamon Toast Crunch all treats. So cereal bars for like breakfast so I don't have to buy a breakfast. That's, um, that's it for the two side pockets, water bottle pocket. A snack or phone pocket whatever so I'm gonna start from outside and so first pocket is this little pocket in the front I have my headphones because I am doing remote learning for uh, in the beginning of the school year so these are gaming headphones but I don't care I'd rather have these connected to my laptop than iPhone or iPhone um, or Apple earbuds. I do not have AirPods. No way. Um, that is it for the first pocket. So, these are tight fit in there because they're so large and bulky, but they fit. Second pocket is, I like to call it the stationary pocket. Because it has, let's see, one, two, three, four pencil pockets, which I have. And I have a pen and a electronic stylus kind of like an apple pen in the first one i have another pen which matches this one but sadly they cannot go in the same pocket together they are too big um and a, another stylus pen thing but i mostly use it for the stylus i have two mechanical pencils and two more mechanical pencils and if you noticed i kind of matched the colors to my bag so a pink a purple a black and a blue so those are all, or a lightish purple magenta. Those are all in the bag, in the pattern. Um, I guess I could also throw a brown in there, but I don't have a brown. I only have an orange. Um, in the post-it pocket, I like to call it, I have a glue stick. I have a staple remover. Um... I have just regular post-its and a little notepad because I have ADHD and like to think out or talk aloud. So I sometimes write my thoughts down. Ooh, shoulders kind of bother me. And that is it for that pocket. Then in just the main pocket itself, I have my mouse for my computer. I use an external mouse even though I have a laptop. I have scissors. I have a pencil case, which I will show you what's in there in a second. And I have my stapler, my handy dandy stapler. That's only going to be in there for remote learning. I'm not going to keep it in there for the school year. I will get a mini stapler. Um, so onto the pencil case. I got this at Jewel Osco for like a dollar. Um, it's actually very nice. It's a double sided pencil case. So I will open up the first side. Oh, we opened up the side that has the hot sharpie highlighters a calligraphy pen because i want to start getting into calligraphy i have a couple little eraser things that i broke in half so they would fit and then i have staples for my stapler so i'll put all that back no that doesn't go this does boom 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 and boom. three of these little eraser things one's a cupcake one's a frog and one is a monkey they fit in here perfectly even though it is rounded edges so one is usually taller than the other but they fit in there nice and snug so they don't fall out um i bet i could fit it hmm but I can fit this sharp. Nope, cannot fit the sharpie in there. I think I have a permanent marker on the other side. On the other side, anyway. Does this go for this? No. I don't know where the bottom to my mouth. What? Yeah, I don't know where that is. Thank you. Before I used it, it was not there. Oh my God. I wonder where it went. Sorry, checking these drawers right here, real quick. Well, they're staying in pretty nicely right now. 
That's not it. Is it in this drawer? Don't know where it went. Um, but it's fine. Um, I could just tape it, which I believe I do have tape in this bag anyway. So, gonna, you know what? So, I don't waste the batteries on this bit, puppy. I'm gonna put the batteries in my pencil case. How smart is that? In with the pen, uh, markers and pen. And then on the opposite side, because I forgot to show you, I have a permanent marker, which I might change out. My other calligraphy pen, I have matching paper clips to match the colors of my bag, which I am going to actually substitute that marker for my Sharpie. If it would like to close, yes, it will. I bet I can fit both in here. No, I cannot. Actually, I only need one calligraphy pen. That is my original calligraphy pen, though. So it just comes out and the ink is in there. Um, but the other one has better looks. I don't know which one I want to keep in here. One for home, one for school, possibly. All my ink is dried out right now, so sadly. Oh, but I have more ink in the upstairs. I wonder if... Will that work? Because I like this tip better than this tip. Let's see something real quick. I just want to see. No, it does not. Darn it. Yep, the threads are different. Mm -hmm. I was going to put the nice and squishy one on the black one because I like this black one. I like the thickness of it. But it's okay. I can, I guess I could use both. I guess I could fit both in here. You know what? It is just too tall. Yeah, the Sharpie will have to go. Or I'll just use one permanent marker instead of two. I don't need the super Sharpie anyway. I'm gonna take a sip of my Arizona. Ooh, that's good. So I'll place everything back in here. So we got my pencil box. Sorry, gotta let's see. Got my pencil box, got my stapler, got my scissors. Gonna lay those down at the bottom. Got my mousy. Why did I call it mousy? Got my post it and notepad, my glue stick, staple remover, and then all the writing utensils. So that and that, that and that. So these two were together. I'm a very organized person, so I like everything to be in its place. Except my room. <laughs> um, make sure that's not open. Shove that down in there. I like the hooks facing outward. Black and blue in there together. And purple. Purple and why doesn't that look like it's all the way in? It is. And magenta together. Is that another little pencil pouch? No, I can't fit a pencil. I bet it could. It could fit something in it, I guess. Oh nope, that wait, maybe. I think there's a tiny little pencil pouch right here. Um, let's see if it'll fit this one. Uh, 
Um, no, it won't fit in. I don't know what I would be able to put in there. Um, but that is all packed up the right way. This is a single zip closure. So, you know. Um, we have the hidden zipper, which Vera Bradley does in all of their bags. They don't have a hidden zipper on the back, right? Nope. Um, this, I actually have my locker accessories that I have right now. I have batteries, which I taped together for my twinkle lights, which are very, very bright. I have, so they, these were at Hobby Lobby. It is an air freshener for your locker. And I like little succulents and rainbows, so that was perfect. And then I got some magnets, which there's macarons, um, a little succulent plant, which macarons are rainbow, the succulent pot is rainbow, and ice cream all the way in the back. I have it all taped together so it doesn't fly over, all over. And I bet this is actually meant to be a phone pocket, which my brother did not leave his phone down here, sadly. Um... This is actually a good representation of how bright the Twinkle Fairy Lights are. If you can see. This is the box they came in. I just took them out. So, I, it fits my iPhone 11. So, I could, when I'm done putting these, setting my locker up, I could definitely slip my phone in there. Um, got the air fresheners, which I have not smelled yet. So, let me tear this up in a little bit. Oh my god, it smells like candy. It smells so good. Um, actually gonna tape that back. So, gonna go in my main pocket, get the tape out, and tape that back up so the smell does not escape. I'm just gonna tape it down. And then I'm gonna tape it around like this. No, this smell does not get out and kind of stink up my bag. Got the magnets. Gonna put this back so I can show you guys where it was. Um, and that is good for the little privacy pocket, which is like made in, it's like they did some uh, stitch work here. So it just looks regular to you guys. Like you could barely even see it, but then this flap lifts up and it's a little privacy pocket. For my phone all right main pocket we have a privacy zipper and two slip pockets facing me so i will show you what's in these slip pockets first because they're pretty large i have the roll of tape you guys just saw this one i have a charging cube for my ipad and in this one i have some gum eclipse gum which turns into a two pack surprisingly um, I like gum. I don't hand it out unless, like, it's one of my good, good friends. Um, I like it for after lunch when I'm like, ooh, my breath stinks. Because, um, you're not allowed to brush your teeth. Even though I'm supposed to be brushing my teeth after lunch because of my braces. Um, I do not because we're not allowed to brush our teeth unless it's in the nurse's office. Which I don't have, like, a note for that. Um... First thing first in my main pocket, I have my Agenda 52 planner from Hobby Lobby. I bought this pattern because I thought it matched the Grove Garden pattern. It has one, two, th one, two like card slots or picture slots and then a clear ID window which I just have a picture of me and my little friends that I babysit. And it is a six ring binder. Um, so you can't, so it is reusable, unlike Vera Bradley's. I wish theirs was reusable. So I just have the months, and then I have some notepads in the back. And this is a little folder here, and in the front I just have some job application, or no. I have my driving sheet in there. I'm not going to actually really show you guys that. Um... But I will say, I think I have 19 hours because I'm on to the back of this thing now. So, 
I will fill that in when I am done with the video. It also has a little pen holder, which I can actually put a pen in right now. Um, I do not have a pen on hand. Great. <laughs> don't know why I said it like that. I guess that I guess I don't need that many pens in the pen slot. I could take the one that matches the book and slip it in there. Oh, it's too small. Darn, I'll have to find another pen. Because I would like to use a pen instead of a pencil for my gender bug. Which I should use a pencil in case something changes. Um, I have one, two notebooks, one comp- No. Yes. I thought I was lying. I have a composition notebook and a regular notebook, which matches the bag, kind of, kind of, sort of. So, then I have one half inch to an inch binder, and then another half inch to an inch binder that has the separators for my classes like notes and homework and stuff and then this one i don't know what it will be for maybe like science um because science i will definitely need my own its own notebook then i have a clip folio um i do not have a vera bradley clip folio sadly but i do have a really 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 old justice clip folio um, it is from Justice for Girls, which is by Maddie Ziegler, I believe. Um, but yes, so it's a clipboard and a portfolio. It has a folder here. You used to have a notepad here. I used the heck out of that notepad with drawings and stuff. I was nine when I got it. Um, I'm 16 now, so it's... seven years old <laughs> um just got some uh sticky labels which i have two sheets of in there and a clear liner thing just slip that into where the notepad was and we're good to go because sometimes in labs and stuff you need it oh, i should put that out here for that and then in the hidden privacy pocket, I have uh, my zip ID with my mask, which I just washed from Vera Bradley, actually. Is that it? Oh, I also have a little gibbet for my crack. I don't know how that got in there. Um, I don't know what I'll do with the clear ID window. Maybe nothing. But I'm actually using that as my mask holder since it doesn't have the keyring. I actually lost the keyring. My keys are on it. Don't know where my keys went. Um, put that there. This is in the pattern Garden Grove, which and then the mask is in the pattern Blush Pink. And then I just have a whole stack of note cards. And that is it for the privacy window. And if you could see, it says very broadly, this bag this belongs to, then you would put your name. I'm not going to put my name just for aesthetic reasons. Um, but yeah, I guess I could also slip my phone here because the bottom of the bat, the bottom of the pocket is way down here. Can't even see down there if you can see that. So I could definitely slip my phone in with the note cards or like a little quick little pick-me-up snack so i'm gonna slip all this back in here oh it is a pretty deep bag um this is the depth of the main pocket right here to here Whoop. there to there so as wide as that pretty deep um so put the binders in here always crisscross your binders i don't care if one's facing upside down always crisscross them for maximum space and to square them off so 
all that is in there and we have room to spare um never put the water bottle and the snacks back in the pockets um cereal bars which i'm not actually putting back in that pouch and then last but not least we have the final pocket which is the laptop slip pocket so i have my 15 inch laptop i will use that for remote learning and then i also have my ipad which i drew on the case or did my brother draw on the case I don't remember. And I have my Raycon sticker, which... Can I actually put that on there? Let's see if I actually put that on there. I did. Nope, I did not. Okay. Did I just crack my iPad? Why did that sound like I just cracked my iPad? I'd be in very big trouble if I actually did just crack my iPad. No, I did not. The crack is on this side over here. I have a teeny tiny hairline crack here. They said just leave it. We're not gonna fix it unless it spiders out. Um, so I'm okay with it. They're okay with it. It's almost my property and I can do whatever I want with it. Um, and then I have a charging cord for my iPad, which it has duct tape wrapped around it so it doesn't break and bend. Oh, one more thing I should add in there. I have my personal alarm. Um, let's hear it. It's very loud. I should put this in this pocket up front. Not that one for the locker, up here. In this privacy pocket. So nobody steals my cord because I've had that happen many times at school of my two years of school. So just without the laptop being in there, it lightens it up a lot. But because this laptop is a very old laptop and very heavy. Um, it is an HP. Don't have a MacBook, sadly. So yeah, that just got way heavier. Um, and then my iPad goes in the padded pocket with the screen facing the laptop so it doesn't bust. And then I zip that back up. And then, ooh, well, oh, I gotta fix my shirt. My shirt says, I never dreamed I would be an awesome daughter, but here I am killing it. My dad got it for me for my birthday. Um, very happy back. I am a little chubby though, so. Um. Gotta fix the straps. Yeah, that feels nice. Ooh. So, bring that down very packed backpack um I could definitely pack it more um then I would have my oh gotta take this off real quick oh that was heavy um gotta throw my crossbody on then I do have a carabiner for this to clip onto my bag which I wish it had a buckle that's what Vera Bradley should do. Make a buckle so it can clip onto your bag like this. Um, instead of, I know it has crossbody, but if you don't want to wear it crossbody, which I don't really do, I got it for the size other than the crossbody. It should have a removable crossbody too. That's just what I think. But if you're hearing this, Vera Bradley, please take my consideration. Or please consider my thoughts. Um, this just got all twisted. Yay. How did that happen? Gotta flip that. Then flip this and 
Bada bing. Bada boom. So I have my lunch bag, which I could wear crossbody with my drink. I'll throw that in there for now. I would definitely put some of this in my locker. Ooh. And then, of course, <gasps> I just got iced tea all over me. That's fun. And then, of course, got to put my house slippers on. I forgot to put my headphones back in. Great. Got to put that down. I throw that behind me. Wrap up my headphones, which my house shoes are actually my very really flip flops in Penelope's garden, which surprisingly the print is rubbing off very easily. So I don't know what's going on there very Bradley. If you are, if someone from there is watching this, um, but I wish that issue would get solved. I Take this, just pull it around. Let's see if it, I can fit them back in here. Always put the earphones up so they don't get smashed or sat on. Take a sip of my Arizona. I love Arizona anything, fruit juice. Um, there I see, of course, I don't really like, well, I really like the lemon iced tea because it kind of takes away the flavor of iced tea. I just got that everywhere, but thankfully not on my, um, my blanket. Let's get it up with some jersey socks, will we? Um, put that up, clean that up. Let's sit there for a second. Go under the paper. Those are my brothers, so I don't. I bet he won't care. Um, this is what I would look like going into school. Vera Bradley, Vera Bradley, Vera Bradley. Of course, I would not bring my blanket to school, which I would I would if I could. Um, everybody brings blankets to school, but I don't. I just don't like it because then you would have to carry it around because it doesn't fit in our tiny little lockers. Um, don't know why I just got so aggressive there. Chill. Very brother crazy. I'm not going to give out my real name yet, just yet, even though I wish I could. Um, I like to keep that a secret for a little bit longer. Sorry, trying to fix this buckle loop. There we go. Hmm. What was up with that? Extend that all the way down so I know, so it's kind of sitting by my... So I'd have this in front. And then my purse on the side. And then this going over my purse. So, Boom. That is a one full backpack. I could could have definitely used the campus backpack. Um and then I do take meds at school. So I would bring my very broadly pill case with me. Um, but I guess I could stand and give my outro everything on if I wanted to I could put the pill case in here since I do take it around lunchtime so all right thank you for watching um I hope you enjoyed please hit the like button if you liked and please comment what other videos you would like to see um please click the notification bell so you don't miss a single video and please share so your friends could see um, thank you for watching.